my low light uh-huh. was I lost my wedding ring. Yes. Yeah, that's not... Um... <laughs> lost my wedding ring, Dave. I did. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, it was the weirdest thing that has ever happened in my life. It was... It's almost... And forgive it's me. It's almost unbelievable. It's almost not, not I had, a thing. I had to try to explain to my wife how it happened. <laughs> because I didn't know when I found out. I found out like before I went to bed on whatever it was, Friday night. Because it happened while we were out downtown Friday night. Right? I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine being Andrea and having you come home and be like, I lost my wedding <laughs> ring. And then hearing this story. We were at Tootsie's. And I went to the little uh, Dishockey's room and did whatever I did. And, and they had one of those attendants. So as I'm walking out of the bathroom, he's just kind of sitting there and he's got like this, what looks like hand sanitizer. So I put my left hand out because I'm, you know, and, and he put a big chunk of it in my hand. So as I walk out of the bathroom, I look down, I go, that's soap. Uh-huh. It was like liquid hand soap. And I had this big glob of it. And so Richie's standing there, and I look over on a table, and there's these big cloth napkins that you get, you know, with those fancy dinner tables or whatever. Mm-hmm. Not cloth, but uh, thick thick paper napkins. And I take one, and I, you know, put it on my hand, and I, like, pull it off. Yeah. And then I took another one and did the same thing. I, like, kind of wrapped it around my fingers and tried to wipe the, wipe the soap, soap off, off hard <laughs> so it would go away. <laughs> You know what I mean? It wasn't- by the way, I should update folks. We this is in the middle of Long Island iced tea night. Yes. By the way. Yes. Okay, I was by so- no means, you know, <laughs> okay. I had no idea. I couldn't feel anything coming off of my hands, trust me. <laughs> but apparently So you're pulling hard. Yes. And apparently <laughs> the ring came off in one of those two napkins and I just tossed it, crumpled up onto the table in front of me and walked away. By no coincidence at all. And I had no idea how it happened until I woke up the next morning and I go, why are my fingers kind of sticky? And then I went <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh, the soap. So is that, yes. not, is that not a perfect storm? I swear, if, I would, if you would have come home and told me that story. <laughs> it's the truth, though. Well, I don't have my wedding ring and for some reason my fingers are sticky and I don't know why. What, what do you say, Lucy? Listen, there's no need to take that ring off. No, but I didn't take it off. He claims yeah, it was... must have. I don't no. believe you, and I feel bad for Andrea. Oh, Why I would was... you do that to that? Especially around Christmas time. I didn't take I didn't it off. You. Listen, I have... Listen, I have you proof... Have no excuse. I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> I, am, I am hurt, discouraged. I almost want to change this. Oh, stop it, Lucy. Uh, Tell me. (laughs) Listen. No, he was, I, Lucy, let it, hand to God, I was with him almost the whole time, even when he lost his mind. See, that's the part I don't like. No, because he was was really a good boy. He really was. I really was. And, 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 no, it's the truth. And then, uh, Richie will, when he's here, he'll tell you, because he remembered when the next day I told him about it, he goes, yeah, I wondered what you were doing, what, what that was all about with the napkins. And, (laughs) And so <laughs> Lucy's not and, having any and, of it. And I called Bethany when I got back to the hotel, and I was like, I lost my wedding. I was beside myself. I really I was. I bet you were. And it's not I because... You were beside yourself because you're like, oh, crap, now what am I going to do? <laughs> no, <laughs> what no. What story it's, am I going to come up with? It's, and it wasn't even because it's expensive, because it's not, because when my wife and I picked them out, we got me a really cheap one because we know me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, well, I know you're going to lose it or break it, so why don't you just get a cheap one? So... A, it's okay, so, Lucy. It's all right. So that's one ring down. But it was. It, thank you, Lucy, for making me feel even worse. Well, uh, I'm glad I did my job then. <laughs> you have a fabulous day now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Barb, you believe me? Yes. Thank you. It's the absolute truth, and I swear. I believe you because nobody would make up a dumb story like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my wife said. She goes, really? Soap? Come on. Exactly. She goes, you need to come up with a better story than that. Exactly. Lies are always better than that. Come on. <laughs> Listen, I would have. If I had to come up with a lie, I'm sure I would have come up with something better than that. Exactly. I really would. But it was it was funny. And <laughs> what a perfect storm of stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my life, though, in a nutshell. A perfect <laughs> storm of stupid. Thank you. Thanks for the call, honey. Okay, bye. Have a great day. You're hearing the Sean and Richie Show. Your direct line to the studio is 476-1077. Thanks for listening to GNA.